Hello everyone, in this video we have solved this interesting math question 7 e to the power cos squared x plus 7 to the power sin squared x is equal to 8 x is equal to what? How to solve this question? It is an interesting math and it is a trigonometric math. Okay, let's start. First of all, our question uh, it will be 7 to the power cos square x plus 7 to the power sin square x is equal to 8. Yes, this is our question. So at this moment, I multiply both sides 7 to the power sin square x. So 7 to the power sin square x times and here is 7 to the power cos square x plus and it will be 7 to the power sin square x bracket is equal to 8 times 7 to the power sin square x. I just multiply both sides 7 to the power sin square x. Okay. Then in this case according to exponential rules. Okay, first of all we are multiply this and this and this and this. Okay, let's start. Here is 7 to the power sin square x times and it will be 7 to the power cos square x plus this time this it will be 7 to the power sin square x times 7 to the power sin square x this x is equal to 8 times 7 to the power sin square x yes now at this moment i can say easily here is 7 to the power sin square x plus cos x square x according to exponential rules look here is basis same so i can say easily this plus this according to uh, a to the power n times a to the power m it will be a to the power n plus m according to these rules i can say easily this is equal to this okay plus and it will be 7 to the power again i follow this rule sin square x plus sin square x is equal to 8 times 7 to the power sin square x yes now at this moment i can say that this equation becomes here is 7 to the power sin square x plus cos square x it will be 1 yes we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta it will be 1 plus and it will be 7 to the power 2 sin square x is equal to 8 times 7 to the power sin square x yes now at this moment i can say this equation it will be look here is 7 plus and it will be look i can say it will be 7 power sin square x and whole to the power 2 because of that we know that according to exponential a to the power n and whole to the power m it will be a to the power n m according to this source i can say that it will be 7 to the power sin square x bracket power is to this two i just move on okay and here is 8 times 7 to the power sin square x now at this moment let 7 to the power sin square x is equal to y so if i let this is equal to this i can say that it will be 7 plus y square because of that we will add it will be y is equal to 8 y we will add this is equal to y yes so we'll find out at this moment here is a quadratic equation uh y square plus 7 minus 8 y is equal to 0 this equation becomes it will be y square minus 8 y just, i just move on this positive below in left side it will be negative plus this 7 is equal to 0 so it is a quadratic equation and at this moment i do middle factor so i can say that it will be y square minus 7 y minus y plus 7 is equal to 0 uh, 7 times 1 it will be 7 and 7 plus 1 it will be 8 then in this case i can say that here is y is common so it will be y minus 7 minus 1 is common it will be y minus 7 is equal to 0 so we'll find out here is y minus 7 is common so this divide this it will be y and this divide this it will be minus 1 is equal to 0 so at this moment we are find out here is y minus 7 is equal to 0 and we find out y minus 1 is equal to 0 so in this case we find out two keys our first case is y minus 7 is equal to 0 another case y minus 1 is equal to 0 so at this moment we are find out the value of x so i can say that 
here it is look uh, y minus 7 is equal to 0 okay so I can say here is y minus 7 is equal to 0 and here is y minus 1 is equal to 0 and at this moment I can say that y is equal to 7 and y is equal to 1 but remember that we are let y is equal to 7 sine square x 7 to the power sine square x so I can say that y it will be 7 to the power sine square x is equal to 7 and in this case I can say really y 7 to the power sine square x is equal to 1 yes now at this moment I can say really uh, here is exponent is 1 look here is exponent is 1 here is basis same so it will be sine square x is equal to 1 then if I use both side square root we are find out here is sine x it will be plus minus 1 and in this case we are find out 7 to the power sine square x is equal to 7 to the power 0 7 to the power 0 it will be 1 according to exponential rules then it is basically same so I can say the exponent is equal so sine square x is equal to 0 and I can say the head is sine x it will be 0 yes but here is find out where two case our first case is sine x it will be positive 1 and sine x here is it will be negative 1 so at this moment look sine x is equal to 1 so sine 90 degree it will be 1 so 90 degree it will be pi over 2 pi it will be 180 degrees so I can say say uh, sine x and sine uh, sine pi over 2 it will be 1 so we'll find out here is x is equal to pi over 2 this is our answer then I can say that it will be 2 and pi if you put here is n is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we have to find out same answer okay so this is our first answer x is equal to pi over 2 plus 2 and pi and we'll find out here is other case it will be sine x is equal to minus 1 okay so sine x uh, minus 1 it will be sine 3 pi over 2 yes it will be 3 pi over 2 we know that sine 120 degree it will be minus 1 I mean sine 3 pi over 2 okay so we'll find out here is x is equal to 3 pi over 2 and it will be 2 and pi yes so I can say really this is our other sensor and here is sine x is equal to 0 so sine x is equal to 0 so I can say really here is sine x uh, it will be 0 so what can in this case I can say here is x is equal to 2 and pi and it will be pi plus 2 and pi I can say it will be pi plus 2 and pi if I put n value is 1 2 3 4 5 we will find out every time sin x is equal to 0 here is x is equal to 2 and pi thank you all if you enjoy this video please subscribe my channel for other interesting video goodbye take care